Alrighty, here we are back in Dark Pebbles 10, Goldilocks and the Fallen Star. Here, uh, back in the village, we have an anchor piece, fairy figurine, stag head, artifact, and a boulevard's notes piece. And we are gonna go into Boulevard's house. We've got to search every corner for those notes, every single one. Here they are standing, super battle ready. Okay, so we're looking for snowflakes and possible parable pieces. There we go. Another parable unlocked. Oh, <gasps> we've missed something on you and the crafty though. Ho 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 ho! No 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 no! Wait, one two three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, <gasps> didn't we get that one? Did I not get that one? So I'm pretty sure I got the other one. I'm pretty sure I got that one. That no. Apparently, I missed that one. We are now never going to be able to... Well, it depends on how Apex make does the um, bonus stuff, of course. They might give us a chance to get that, but otherwise we've completely missed that um, parable. I don't think we can go back. Can we? Maybe. Wait, where was that? Yeah, it was... No, here, here, here. Oh no, no, no! This was a treasure. Yeah, no, okay, no, 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 not here. <clears throat> um, how did we get down to that? Is it here? No. Oh no, 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 no! Now I remember. No, no, no! It's not in here. It's not in here. Uh, it's um, it's here. Hey, maybe we can get back. There we go. Oh yeah, no locked areas. Okay, okay. I am happy again. Here we go. Get parables. Let's read two parables. You and the crafty. Or Evan, I'm not sure. You and the crafty, I'm gonna read it as. Once in a city far away lived Ewan, a craftsman and inventor of exceptional skill. He was made self pro Okay. He was made self propelling to toys, talking puppets, and many more wondrous things. So someone made them for him, he didn't actually make them, is what it says here. As I read it, he was made. That means that someone else made it for him, right? I presume it was would say he made, but okay. One day, the city's duke ordered him to craft a mechanical horse for a parade. He was overjoyed because the duke was just and well-loved man whom Ewan wanted to please and impress. A just and well-loved man, maybe? Young Ewan did his best, and the shiny new metal horse was ready for the duke on the day of the parade. What Ewan didn't know is that duke's rivals the Duke's rivals sabotaged his invention, damaging the horse's metal supports. As soon as the parade started and the Duke straddled the horse, the mechanical animal collapsed, jerking and kicking, costing the Duke his life. It was too much for the young inv inventor. Everyone believed that Ewan's invention was to blame, so, fearing for his life, he fled the city, never to return. Boulevard and Rumpelstiltskin. Yes, and some of you informed me that Rumpelstiltskin has indeed been in a previous Dark Parables game, the bonus game of Dark Parables 6, Jack and the Sky Kingdom. I can't actually remember the bonus game of that, I just really know, I just really remember, or like, recognize that well, Rumpelstiltskin has been here before. Boulevard and Rumpelstiltskin. 
In the land of Barja, there was a young man named Bular. He was a merchant's apprentice, working all day long to support his old parents. One night, when he was returning from a late errand for his master, he passed through a thick and dark forest. There he met an evil imp named Rumpelstiltskin. Off my path, you human mutt! In my forest you shan't strut! If you want to live and pass, we shall play a game of chance. What flows like a river, it has no banks. What can go forward, yet never back. If you guess wrong, it'll be your doom. But if you're right, there's a gift for you. Bulvar was a bright lad, but it took him some time to think of an answer. The imp smiled confidently. No mortal has ever beaten me in the game of guessing, and it seems you aren't any smarter than those I've already encountered on this road. Well, your time is almost up. What Imp just said gave Bulvar an idea. The answer to your riddle is time, he said, and that was, of course, the correct answer. Rumpelstiltskin was furious, but he held his promise. As a reward for beating him in the game, Rumpelstiltskin gave Bulvar a magic dagger that led him to become the biggest merchant that ever was. Okie dokie. So we have the crowning of Queen Vala left. Alright, now we can get down to business here. Papers, compass, books. The trade routes must be somewhere around this desk. His desk. Sorry. His desk. If there was anything valuable hidden here, it would make sense to cure it with a personal seal. Okay. Like, do I have that? Okay, so we can't really do much in here. Can't really see. They're just staring. Like, do do the job, detective. Do everything. Okay. Oh, we can go to... This is a sturdy ship, easy to navigate. She should be able to take us to Olysia if we find a way to cross the barrier. Ah, there was a ship here. Not even the most seasoned captain can navigate the ship without a nautical chart. Looks like there's something under the hatch. Well, I gave it a shot. Fish up there. Um, okay. So we now have a feather. And with that, we can do something here. Oh. Oh, yes. There's a part missing of, from these notes. If I find it, maybe Sir Ewan will be able to translate them. Hey, those are Bolvar's notes. Let me take a look. I can read these runes. It says... Hmm, I will leave my dagger to King Boris the Wise, because he's the only person who could resist using it. It's the only thing known that can open the barrier. It would be dangerous for it to wind up in the wrong hands. King Boris the Wise? He is buried at the shrine. Disturbing his resting place is next to sacrilege, but it's our best chance. Okay. Not that they really restored his ha this house. This door is broken and nobody bothered to repair it. <laughs> Not that they really restored his house. Oh, there she is now. Oh. 
Okay, Gold Lux is there. She's not gonna help us do sacrilege. Interesting. Open Bulwer's house with a metal ring. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, because it's over here. Never mind. Okay, we have a pickaxe. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me use that. Rotate the objects in front of the candles in order that the projections fall in the appropriate place on the background. Oh. Uh, how exact is this? Apparently very. Thank you. <laughs> Once there was a merchant named Bulvar who knew how to travel between Ulysia and Barsha. He had a magic sword that could cut through the barrier. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, yay! When Bulvar grew old, he decided that the sword should be passed in the hands of someone who won't use it for conquering. That's why he gave it to his longtime friend, King Boris the Wise. A Boris was a wise king. Very unprecise. Oh, there you go. Oh. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, I see. Not good enough. Oh, thank you. But the time had passed. King Boris grew old, and his heirs were a group of jealous schemers. So the wise king decided to carry the sword and its secret to his grave. Here it is, full of dead bones. Or people. I never imagined I'd enter a king's tomb, dust to dust, as they say. Was there a um, purple piece in here? Yes. There. A bit dark, even for the dead. If I had some lamp oil, I could light the chamber. Oh, you do have lamp oil. There we go. Oh, okay, let's see here. But that place emanates powerful magical energy. Could it be connected to the dagger? Oh, I didn't mean to go in here and look, but apparently I did. Ancient dagger. dagger. Whoa. Okay. Um. Foo, maybe? Wait, do I remember this? I think foo, what was this? Foo. Uh, no. From, the little, from what I remember well, dragon runes, but still, uh, this doesn't really make sense. But okay. Whoa, hello. Now you have the power to cut through the barrier. She says, pretty casually. We know that you'll use it for good. Your cause is just, and your heart is pure. Why is the moon god- Oh, because it's day, so the moon goddess is fainter? It's up to you to stop the queen from completing the star. We've sent omens to the people of Olesia. They're evacuating as we speak. Good luck, detective. Oh, good. Yes, please evacuate everyone. The responsibility is enormous, but I am up to the task. Well, we've done stuff like this before, right? I'll be the first one to foot in King Boris's tomb and get out unharmed, I hope. Yep, you kind of already did, so I don't really know why you're having that thought now. But that's cool. We Oh, we still need... Um, Interesting. Ha, huh, fascinating. Alright, so where do we go now? I don't know. But we'll figure it out in the next episode. Thank you all very much for watching. And I'll see ya.